The Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias in which people reach erroneous conclusions and make unfortunate choices, but their incompetence robs them of the metacognitive ability to realize it. The unskilled therefore suffer from illusory superiority. That means like a fantasy that they're superior. Rating their own ability as above average, much higher than actuality. By contrast, the highly skilled underrate their abilities, suffering from illusory inferiority. This leads to a perverse result where less competent people will rate their own ability higher than more competent people. It also explains why actual competence may weaken self-confidence, because competent individuals falsely assume that others have an equivalent understanding. Thus, the miscalibration of the incompetent stems from an error about the self, whereas the miscalibration of the highly competent stems from an error about others. The trouble with the world is that the stupid are cocksure and the intelligent are full of doubt. It seems like the smartest people I meet ask a lot of questions and have doubts about things. And there's something about people that are 100% sure about everything. Well, you know where I'm going with this. Let me know what you think about people who run around with, laden with facts and constantly criticizing others. There are some people who buck this model because there are some people I know who have superiority complexes, who go around telling you everything and they're absolutely sure that they're right all the time. And they are right a lot. Sometimes geniuses have massive egos. It does happen. But I consider that a character flaw. Let me know what you think about this cognitive bias and the fact that people who don't know very much seem to be very sure of themselves and people who actually have knowledge are less sure of themselves and more likely to be bowled over by someone who is their intellectual inferior.